Hi guys, so I got this really cool paintbrush set by Benici and you can check out their website. They have a lot of other cool art supplies and I'll show you their 16 set paintbrush and paintbrush set and I'll tell you how to clean and maintain your brushes. And this video has been sponsored by Benici. So this is their set of 16 paintbrushes. And it has 16 paintbrushes and it also comes with a bonus sponge and a palette knife which is really cool because the ones that I have are plastic. So this is some real good artist quality palette knife. And you can follow them on their different social media sites and you can order from them. So when you are using acrylic paints which are plastic based paints the most important thing to do is to clean them while you are painting so for example you use one color you clean it with water and then you go on to the next color because if you leave it for a few hours it hardens and then you won't be able to take it off from the brush and yeah your really good paint brushes might get ruined so don't forget to clean your acrylic brushes right after painting Hi, so when we do watercolor, we tend to use a lot of water because obviously watercolor is water-based. So it's very simple to clean the brushes. You just, you know, for example, I use the paint and to clean it, I will keep two cups of water near me and I will just dip it and swirl it gently and that's it it will be clean i will tap it on the napkin a couple of times and when i need to use another color i will put it in another pitcher of water so it's completely clean so if you do this while you're painting it i mean there won't be any paint left on the brush not here and also be sure to clean it from here because that can ruin the the bristles like they're connected to the um, the handle and if there's paint left here then it can ruin it it can it can cause it to come out one thing that you should never do with your paintbrush is okay so for example I need to clean my brush right one thing that you should never do is to be uh, like really harsh with it. Don't do like this, okay? That's bad. <laughs> do it gently. That way your brush will not be ruined and it will last longer. And gently tap it. So when you use oil paints, then the procedure of uh, washing the cleaning the brush is different than acrylic paint or watercolor paint. Because this is oil based, you will use a solvent first and then a soap and water to remove the solvent. So solvents include mineral spirits and turpentine oil. So right now I'm using turpentine oil, I'll dip it gently. And I'll clean it, tap it on the, na um, the napkin, and I will clean it in this way until all of the paint is gone. So another way that you can clean your brush, either it's acrylic or water, immediately after painting, I mean, if it's water, you can do it even some time after painting, but I wouldn't recommend that. But if it's acrylic, you can just clean it under the water. So, clean it gently with soap and water. I'll get some soap. So, I can put it with your brush on the soap. And then... You could wash it off. Oh. 
and hold the same. And that's how you clean both of your acrylic brushes and your watercolor brushes. So if you want to salvage your old paint brushes which have acrylic paint stuck on them, then just boil a pot of vinegar and put your brushes in them. So I'm pouring this in. Then I put these brushes in them and then I open and yes now we'll boil okay so this has started to boil now I will take it out and when it's dry I will flake off the particles of the paint because acrylic is a plastic based paint so it hardens if you leave it for a couple of hours so the vinegar will help break it down and then we can remove uh, the paint from the paintbrush and then we can wash it with normal soap and water.